And while the towering clouds of ash are causing chaos for travelers, there's also some concern the volcano might affect weather around the world. Manuel Gallegas has more on that. Iceland's spectacular volcanic eruption is catastrophic near the blast. Rapidly melting glaciers are flooding farmland, while pulverized particles of ash, now 30,000 feet up, are blowing across Europe to Russia until gravity takes over. Because the particles are, are heavier than air, they fall out or they hit a rainstorm and get washed out and they'll just basically disappear from the atmosphere over a period of days. And the red is the lower atmosphere, the green is the higher up. Rutgers University climatologist Alan Robach says the volcanic cloud would have to climb much higher, 40 to 50,000 feet, to affect Europe's climate. Only if the eruption becomes much stronger and puts a lot more particles or a lot more sulfur gas into the atmosphere could it have a large effect on climate. The volcano is coughing up about 3,000 tons of sulfur dioxide each day. When that combines with water vapor in the upper atmosphere, it can reflect sunlight away from the earth, cooling temperatures on the ground. That's what happened when Mount Pinatubo erupted in the Philippines in 1991. And the ash flow from that eruption spread around the world in a few days and was enough material in the atmosphere to cause uh, the temperature, average temperature of the Earth to go down one degree. Since the last time this Icelandic volcano erupted was nearly 200 years ago, scientists are having a hard time predicting how long this eruption will last. For now, the volcano is having a greater impact on commerce than the climate. Manuel Gallegas, CBS News, New York.